Yeshua, Allah. There's only one God, and Muhammad is his messenger, Allah. La ilaha illallah. My name is Muhammad Zaidan. I am the first graduate in class of Iman Academy. After this, I went to University of Houston where I graduated with a bachelor's in biology and a minor in chemistry. I am currently attending Ross University Medical School. The care provided by the administrative staff is unsurpassed. Ever since I got to Iman Academy, I never felt really uh, left alone or just basically new because all the teachers were very welcoming and always showed that they cared and they always wanted to help. I have had the privilege of being with Iman Academy now for the last six years. My kids, um, all four of them, attend Iman Academy Southeast and the daycare there. The teachers have taken a personal interest in the students and as a result many of the students have reacted positively. One of my, one of my children had some issues that he was going through with uh, school and she could stay um, after school 15 minutes every day and just work on him one-on-one -on -one. and that's just the kind of dedication that I've experienced since I've been at Iman Academy. And that's the kind of influence we need for our children. And me and my husband you know both say all the time that this is the best decision that we ever made is to put our kids in Iman Academy. Throughout my years at Iman Academy I've um, come across so many things that have made me the person that I am today. Um, starting in high school, I attended um, Houston Community College, 11th and 12th grade, um, where my, it was really um, an awesome experience, to say the least. One of the greatest advantages of being at Iman Academy is the opportunity to learn Quran, Arabic, and Islamic studies, subjects that my classmates and I would not be able to take in a public school. How do we instill a passion in learning in our students. In order to accomplish that, we as educators have to assume the responsibility of teaching passionately. The teachers at Iman Academy are always helping and encouraging us to excel in our work in the best possible ways. Iman Academy taught me many things. One of the things it taught me was about responsibility. Major thing I, I see in Iman Academy that they literally build a child character in a beautiful Islamic way. I feel like my students, whenever they have a moral dilemma, after their parents, they look to their teachers. And when I realize that, especially the grade that I teach, second graders, right and wrong, subhanAllah, for us it's the Quran and Sunnah, for them it's mom, dad, and then my teacher. First and foremost, Allah has rights over you, then comes your parents, then comes your friends and family, and it's your responsibility to fulfill those rights to those people with the proper Islamic etiquette. As Iman Academy strives to improve each year, I'd like to focus on the most important uh, value that Iman Academy has had on its students. Um, I believe that most Iman Academy alumni are unique amongst their peers. Uh, throughout their years in Iman Academy, a higher and more clear purpose is systematically developed. A accountability and fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the outcome of this higher and clear purpose. I grew up attending Iman Academy and believe it has prepared me well both academically and Islamically. The way they um, taught us to do this was to first of all set very high goals and then do your best to reach those goals. And once you reach those goals, you even set higher goals. That way you're always moving up in life. And that's a, one of those life lessons that you learned because whenever you go out into the real world and you set real life goals, you, you have the inner workings to reach those goals in life. And hopefully this will help in the dunya and in the akhira. All parents have to make a choice and they debate, should it be Islamic school or a public school? And you know, 20 years ago the argument could have been possibly that the academics in the Islamic schools were not where they could be. We do admit that, you know, Islamic schools, we still have a lot of work to do, but as far as academics, we are excelling. So there is really no excuse for any parent not to consider Iman Academy. Um, Islamic schools are extremely integral, and I don't, I don't see why or how someone could not support them, especially in a city that has such a large Muslim community. So I really urge people to help this great project. I've been working in Islamic schools for about 20 years. Um, I think that the satisfaction comes when all the naysayers are able to see that our children are going to college, 
Um, they have college, they graduate from college, and they have families. We are here for our future. This is about our future. Our children are our future. They will be the ones that leave our footprints behind. They are the ones that will matter then. And we'll be there to look and say, okay, this is who we are, because we will be part of who they are. I know that this has been a very difficult road, but look at where we are. Our, we are SACS accredited. Our tax scores are amazingly wonderful, alhamdulillah. We have gotten over difficulties, look at what happened with the Ike hurricane. But yet here we are, all of us. And I just want you to know that this is all about us. It's about our legacy. So please stay with us and stay till the end. There's nowhere else to go but the future to go up, to go forward. So I urge you, let us work together and work hard for the sake of our future. Jazakallah khair.